wondering about mixing paint and whatnot. This is a great little video. I hope you can see it. I hope you can enjoy it. Okay. Uh, and this video, I will show you. This is Instagram Live, guys. So if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, it's not that I didn't want to give you a great video. Is that I'm trying to kill two birds with the same stone. So I'm going to show you how I mix my phthalo blue with oil. Okay. Some people want to know the ratios and whatnot. Look. There aren't really no ratios, guys. This is my ratio. I open this up and I pour the whole effing thing in there. Boom. Once my hands are like, oh my God, no moss, no moss. I get one of these tube ringers. Okay. And I just do this. Look. Bam. That is how it's done in my studio. Okay. Just like that. Squeeze it out. Throw it away. Okay, let's do a little, there we go, there we go, there we go. For those of you who are like, oh my God, what is he doing? I'm doing all kinds of cool stuff. Then I'm going to get some oil, all right? This is walnut oil. I'm going to get some oil and I'm going to pour some of it in here. I don't want to do so much. You see, it's sort of like, a, I don't know, a tepan table or, or making some tacos or whatever you want to, you know, uh, whatever you want to think of, whatever helps you in your imagination. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this little this, this spatula, this this uh, uh, palette knife. It's, a, it's one of the large palette knives. It doesn't matter what kind of palette knife you get. It's all fine, whatever you wanna get. I like using this one. I broke a couple of them already and I uh, just like using it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start mixing that in there. Look, I wanna start mixing that. Okay, what I'm trying to show you here is how I'm preparing my day, okay? This is not for painting today. I'm going to be painting tomorrow. All right. And so for those of you who have been following me, I've been telling you when you are ready to paint, you should have prepared the day before. Don't prepare that same day because otherwise you're not going to paint. OK, all of this stuff takes time. It takes energy. It takes effort. So the day that you're ready to paint, you should have done this already. If you're painting in oils, you should have done this the day before or at least uh, uh, account for it you know account for it don't say well i'm going to paint from from 10 a.m to i don't know to 1 p.m right uh and then you go into a studio and you have to do all of this you're probably only going to paint for one hour if you're lucky right so this is what i do check it out look very simple very simple but yet super effective and i'm going to put it right here in my in my corner okay there is there there goes my my phthalo blue that's where it goes you guys are getting it boom now i don't like to get super stingy with the paint whatever wasn't saved wasn't saved whatever whatever didn't make it whatever didn't make the cut i don't care i value time more than uh than the little stuff okay so time is more important to me uh, and, and I'm not saying it should be more important to you, but if you're a full-time artist, you might consider not trying to uh, spend so much time more than necessary. And you will know, only you will know what necessary is. I can't tell you that. Only you will know, depending on your experience and whatever you're doing. I'm just sharing this with you. Uh, most artists would probably never even share this kind of stuff. When artists talk about painting, they talk about all kinds of weird stuff, like using all this different type of oils and, and, and mediums and whatnot. Look, guys, I use walnut oil for everything. I clean my table with walnut oil. I mix my paint. I clean my brushes. Everything is done with walnut oil. Why? Because I, want, I don't want any fumes. I don't want any, any of that stinky stuff in my studio. I want it all to be pretty, pretty legit. Too legit to quit. Okay? Something like that. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my, my red that it's over here. I'm going to move it. Why am I doing that? Why am I cleaning the, the corner where my red is? I don't, I don't think you can see that. The reason why it's because this red is a little bit older. So what I want to do is I want to, I want to make space for that. And, uh, and as I'm making space for that, I'm going to go get red paint.
Again, I'm letting you guys know on my on my way of doing it. This is not the only way of doing it, certainly. It's not the only way, but this is my way of doing it. And if you want to do it this way, well, it's up to you. I don't know. It might not, it might not serve you. Uh, if you don't paint as much as I do, you probably don't want to use the entire tube. Okay? I don't use more than one tube uh, for mixing because I don't like uh, the little film that it creates after after a couple of days. Okay, it creates a little a little dry film and I don't like it. Not only are you wasting paint at that point, but I don't like it because now I'm fighting with that little film, that little dry film of, of paint. Okay, so in the same way, I want to remove all the excess blue here, even in the corners. I don't I don't want it to be mixed in there so much. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same thing. Every color, by the way, here this this way every color has its consistency okay so you can't treat viridian or, or blue or white you can't treat them the same because every color has its own little uh mixture like it, it, it's some of some of it is more it's, it's a little bit harder than others some of it seems a little bit more solid so you kind of have to figure out what you like people ask me how do you make it so buttery maybe you don't want to paint buttery People think that it's because I it's so easy for me to paint, but it's not really it's not really that. There's some truth to that, but it's not really that. The reason why I started making buttery, it's not because it's so easy, so therefore I'm able to like paint so fast. No, it's because I paint so much, not because I paint so fast. Because I paint so much and I don't want it to hurt my wrists. Okay? So I make it buttery for that reason. I make it sort of like a like a like an acrylic consistency. Uh some genius had told me, oh, I see what your secret is. You think you're paint and, and therefore you're able to paint so fast. And I'm like, uh, what about acrylic painters? What, 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 what excuse do they have, many of them, for not painting, for not painting fast? Like, like, come on, guys. <laughs> there is no secret formula, guys. There is no secret formula. You know, it's just work. That's all it is. I'm not trying to paint fast. Painting fast is just something I've done my entire life. I'm not trying to paint fast. I'm trying to paint for many hours. That's what I'm trying to do. Why? I'm trying to paint for as much as I can. Each day gets milked as hard as, as I can when it comes to creating artwork. By the way, you guys see, some of you guys see me doing a lot of videos. You don't see enough of the videos that I do. I do so many that don't go anywhere. I erase them, I throw, you know, I just, I just chuck them. Uh, of other artworks that I do, I, I do so many watercolors. I do so many, uh, just different mediums, different mediums all day. And, and you guys are not seeing that. So it's not, it's not painting. Okay. Cause I know a lot of people are like, Oh my God, if I could paint as much as you do or as fast as you do, it's not painting guys. It's, it's, it's how much can you do with the time that you have? That's the question you want to be asking yourself. How much can you do with the time that you have? It, it doesn't matter what that is. It doesn't matter whether you have two hours in one day or you have, I don't know, 20 hours. I don't know. You know, I, 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 I'm not you. I don't know how much time you got. You, you could have only two hours a day and be much more prolific and more productive than someone who's putting, I don't know, six hours a day but spends, I don't know, four of those hours on Instagram. You know, I don't know. So everyone's different. Now I'm going to get this, this older paint and I'm going to put it right here. Again, guys, my, my message is not for everybody. I understand that, okay? I'm not trying to tickle everyone. My message is not for everybody. I already know that. It is for those who want to get the kind of results that I'm getting. That's who my message is for. If you're trying to paint on the weekends and, and feel, you know, all like, I don't know, like super happy and like, oh my God, I'm painting. on That's awesome. But my message mostly, it's probably, it's probably not for you. My message is more for people that are like, man, I've been doing this my entire life and it's not working. What am I doing wrong? That's what my message is for. Dude, you're not doing anything wrong. You're not doing enough of it. That's the problem. You're not doing enough of it. I promise you that that is the number one problem. When I coach artists, that's the very first question I ask. How much do you create? How much artwork do you create? And, and, and if you got two, three, five pieces, you know, it, it's there. I, we'll coach. I'll coach you, but 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 it doesn't mean 
It doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. It just means that you're missing data. That's all. It's not that you're doing something wrong necessarily. You're not doing anything wrong. You're just missing data. Now I'm going to mix the purple for those of you who are like staying here and listening to me go bananas. I am preparing my day. Okay, it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening for many of you. I'm preparing my day. This is my purple, okay? Boom. I get it all out. Why do I get it all out? Because I don't want to be playing around tomorrow with it, right? I don't want to be mixing while I'm painting. When I paint, I'm ready to go. I'm not, I don't want to be mixing. I don't want to be running to the store. I don't want to be uh, running errands. No, the day is prepared the day before. This is something that I learned later on in my career. I didn't want to understand that. But I, I promise you, if, you're, if you already know what you, what you do and you're not doing it, there's so many things around that psychologically that are happening. One of them, you're not preparing your day. This is something that I learned from a real estate agent. Your work day doesn't start the work day. It starts at least one day before. Okay, again, this is my oil. Your work day does not start that day. So those of you who are like, man, I got to paint tomorrow. Hey, you better prepare today. Otherwise, you ain't painting tomorrow. You're preparing tomorrow. Okay? The work day does not start the day that you think it starts. It starts a day before. At least one day before. At the very least. Okay? At the very least, it starts one day before. I got my canvases ready, my brushes. I went to go buy my paint. Everything. I'm mixing my paint. I'm, I'm, I'm not mixing. I'm not mixing the colors. I'm softening it, right? And I already explained why. I'm softening my colors. Again, for those of you who just got in the video here on Instagram, I don't soften my paint to, to paint so fast. And oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm such a fast painter. No, I soften it because I paint a lot. I paint for hours and hours and hours. That's why I soften it. So that it's easy on my wrists. So that it feels like, like, like a heavy batter or kind of buttery as opposed to something that is it'll feel good for the first two, two three hours but after the after three four hours of painting it starts hurting my hands right it starts hurting a little bit and i'm used to it i've been doing this for years i've been doing this for 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 decades right i've been doing this for two decades oil is is my medium of choice i've been i've been playing with oil for at least two decades and uh so i know a thing or two about this kind of thing so I'm just passing it along to those of you who are ready to receive the message. There it is. Look, there's my purple. Where's my purple going to go? Where's my purple going to go? My purple is going to go. Here. Those of you who are still around. Right there. That's where my purple is going. Okay. Here's my purple. Boom, baby. There's where my purple goes. All right. My purple goes right there. There it is. And now, when I get here, my canvases are open. My paint is there. It's set up. Right? The whole thing is ready. So I'm not, I'm not going to get here and start preparing anything. This happens every day after I paint. Okay? I don't just clean my, my, my table or leave it. No, I, I have it ready for the next day because it is so crucial. That little extra 30 minutes or one hour, whatever it takes you to get ready for the next day, is, it's incredibly crucial. It will either make or break your next day. It will either make or break your next day. I promise that. Okay, so my paints are ready. Look, there it is. It's ready. It's ready to go. All I got in my oil is there. It's ready. I got, I got new oil in there. My brushes. Ready. I check my brushes to see, do I need to change one? I don't want any surprises. Now, this doesn't mean that there's not going to be surprises, but I don't want any. If I can, if I can, here, let me put my beautiful face. If I can avoid surprises, I will avoid them. So that this doesn't mean that there won't be, right? There's going to be, there's usually something, something happens. But the more I can tweak that and the more I can avoid 
those surprises. Man, I'm 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 out for a good day, right? I'm I'm gonna have a constructive, productive day. That most that most artists won't have. And, and and I didn't learn this by accident, guys. I learned this through lots and lots and lots of failing. You know, my mother used to tell me the best teacher is failure. The best teacher is failure. Failure is the best teacher because it teaches you the limits, right? It doesn't always feel the best, but it teaches you your limits. You'll, you'll, you'll know, right, if I start my day at 5 p.m., then that means I'm, I only have so many hours if I started at this time. If I, if I prepare my day, you know, with canvases and, 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 and oil paint and all the things, if I prepare my day, then I'm going to have a super kick-ass day the next day, right? And, and, and other stuff can come up, right? You have to run for errands, uh, a client. Shit's always happening. But uh, let me tell you something. If you're an artist... You need to minimize all that shit. It needs to be minimized. You know, the main thing is the main thing. If you're making, if, if you're eating, right, if you're papa, as we say in Spanish, if your food is coming from painting, that is sacred. You shouldn't be taking calls or, 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 or letting people come to your studio and waste your time. That is sacred, right? That's, this is how I take care of my family. It needs to be sacred, it needs to be sacred. It needs to be, it's to be serious. So here's one of my little tricks for those of you who don't know. One of my little tricks for this to be very serious is that I start my day at 4 in the morning. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know that about me. I start my day at 4 in the morning because my day is sacred. Okay, my day is sacred. By noon, I already finished doing 90%. Okay, 90% of all the things... All the things that bring me cash by noon. I have already done 90% of all the things that bring me the income. So, so I'm ready to grow my business. I'm ready to go do other stuff. I'm ready to, to, you know, every now and then I'll take a phone call before that. I'll take a coaching call depending on my day, you know, depending on my day, how my day is looking. Sometimes I'll flip it. Sometimes I won't leave my studio until 2, 3 in the morning, right? Sometimes it's flipped. Sometimes it's not early in the morning, but it is always, it is always sacred time. So when everybody's gone, I may start painting at 9, 9 p.m. and won't leave until 3, p, 3 a.m., you know? So it's just a matter of organizing yourself and figuring out. And I'm not talking about organizing as, as, as how people tend to organize themselves. They're like, oh, yeah, i got to organize my day. No, organize, organize your actions, you know, your actions. Your actions is what you want to organize. Because everybody has different actions. Everybody's always doing different actions. And so you got to find out what works for you. Empress uh, Shakaya says, really love your courses. And your, your mom sounds very wise. Uh, yeah, yeah, she, definitely. She was very wise. Uh, her father was also very wise. I think that they, 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 they come from a, uh, a family that... that that uh, had a what we call in 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 many places they call this popular wisdom, right? It's not it's not a it's not academic stuff, right? It's popular wisdom, baby. So, all right, guys, take care. I will talk to you soon. I gotta get I gotta go eat something, and uh, I'll see you guys. All right, take care. Peace.